Ooh, I want you. I don't know if I need you, but I gotta find out. And, uh, well, I know I want and need the Black Fly Brewfest, and I, I want and need John White to be here right now to update us on everything that's been going on. We're up to the very last possible second now, John. It's happening tomorrow morning, well, 12 noon, is when it, it is. all kicks off. What's, what's going on? Well, it's here. I can't believe it. Tomorrow, all these brewers are coming in already, and it's this is just going to be a great event. You got to be there. If you're not there, then you're just really going to mess out. Oh, you're not kidding, man. I agree with you 100%. And I heard Rick from Marsh Island. He's checked in with you this morning already. He's in town. I don't know if he's in town or I think he's listening online down in He's Warren listening online. Still. Yeah, he's tuning oh, he's in. cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll be here this afternoon. All right. Most of them are going to be landing today because there's a big dinner. Right. That Jane and the Chamber is putting on tonight at the Elks, and that's right. going to be kicking off. What really, she's rolling out the red carpet for them, and, and I think they're they're going to be treated the way they should be. What are they getting, man? I want to know. I, th- I think we're having ribs tonight over ribs? at the Elks, yeah. What? And some candy bacon. and oh, Candy bacon, I've heard about that. Yeah, me too. I've never had it. I can't wait to try it. But <laughs> I bet you, I bet you. Now, you've got in front of you right now the complete list of what everyone is bringing that you know of. I think there was only one that's like still on a TBA to be announced. Yeah, uh, this should be pretty much the beer list of what's going to be there tomorrow. So let's run down a little bit of what's going on. Maybe you can describe for us some of the uh, the different types of brews that are coming and and the ones that you know about specifically. You can uh, you can talk about their individual tastes. I can try that. Uh, there's about 35 or 40 even I've never tried and I've tried a lot of main beer so. <laughs> this is a great thing. We spent we spent the last 2 weeks trying to try every single one, haven't we? <laughs> takes a while to get through them. It could take a lifetime. Yeah. Um, well, we might as well just start right at the top with Allagash. They're bringing Allagash White, which is their flagship beer, and the 16 Counties, which is made with uh, all Maine barley and, and malt and grains. Uh, they use some stuff from Aurora Mills right out here in Linnaeus mm-hmm. and Maine Malt House up in Mapleton. It's terrific. So that's a brand new beer that they, they uh, had it before, but they've redesigned it and that's going to be one you want to check out, I think, because it's, okay. it's all about Maine, just like yeah. we are. Yeah, that's right. Then you got Atlantic Brewing down in Bar Harbor. They're bringing their Bar Harbor Blueberry Ale, which they say is the original Blueberry Ale. That's funny. I've had a lot of requests for that. People on the phone and uh, both and online, too, have asked me if they're bringing Blueberry Ale, and I said, yes, they are. Well, that well that's my there. favorite. I can't <laughs> wait to get that. That's probably their flagship beer, I would say. And they're bringing a, a Cole Porter, Ellen's Coffee Stout, and 04609 double IPA, which that is the zip code of Bar Harbor, so they're representing their area too. Oh yeah, that's that's tremendous. We love that. And they've been around, I think, since mid '90s. So Atlantic's been around for quite a while. That's great. Uh, Austin Street from down in Portland. I bring in the Patina Pale Ale, which I've been telling you all about. You've got to yes. try it. <laughs> it's really a hop forward uh, pale. Okay. It's it's like I said, it borderlines on on being an IPA, really. I think, but it's delicious. I'll be hopping forward as soon as I have a little taste of that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and they're also bringing the, their six grain milk stout, which is mm-hmm. also delicious. Oh yeah, anything anything kind of stout for me is absolutely amazing. And uh, they're coming. Um, let's see, it's Jake Austin himself is coming up. Wow. Him and Will Fisher, they're two brother in laws, and they're down at One Industrial Way, right by Foundation in Bissell. And, mm-hmm. They're really growing, so they're, they're kind of becoming rock stars themselves. Yes, that's right. They really are, and they should be treated that way. Yes, and we will. Uh, Bandit Horn out of Biddeford, Ron Graves, he's mm-hmm. a superstar. If you've seen him on the Black Fly Brew Fest Facebook. I did see him. He went all kinds of stuff. He had a cape on and everything. He did. <laughs> he had a schoolgirl outfit on. And his Viking horns. <laughs> his Viking horns, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're... I've spent many nights down there at their tasting room. It's always a blast. Yeah. And they're bringing out four of their beers. Uh, one of them is Viridian IPA. Ooh. That's Tom Wells' favorite beer. I've had if that. you guys know who Tom good. Wells is. Yeah. He's an expert on Bandit Horn. Yes, he is. You can say that again. <laughs> and they're bringing the Kaiju Double IPA. That and that's too. Tom's friend, uh, Ben Doonut, we call him. That's his favorite beer, I think, because he yeah. drinks about 10 of them every night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't know how, because those are those are a big beer. He's a big guy. Yeah, he is. Good guy, too. Yep. And they're also bringing the Pepperell Pills, which is their flagship, which mm-hmm. is paying tribute to the Pepperell Mill down in Biddeford, which has been changed into the big brewery. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? It's it's quite a 
It's a huge building. It's awesome what they've done with it. There's a story behind each and every one of these beers. It's it's really, you know, the history and the whole nine yards. It pays you folks to come on out. It pays all of us to go and uh, check it out and talk to these guys. That's right. And if you're ever down in the Biddeford Saco area, it's right by the Saco River at downtown Biddeford. You wow. should check out their tasting room. It's really good times. R- really cool. And they're also bringing uh, the Bearshin, which would be a raspberry sour beer. So, so you might want to check out all of those because they're all good beers. Sour beers. Now, those are something that are new to me, sort of new to me. And I haven't tried any that I really didn't like. But that has, a, like, a really low alcohol content, too. So you're not, like, you can have quite a few tastes of those without really affecting the overall performance of yeah. your other taste buds for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's right. <They're, laughs> most of them are. They're, they're less alcohol, and they're very tasty. Right. A lot of them. Especially the ones that are real, rasp- well, raspberry is my favorite, but there's cherry ones and blueberry ones and every other fruit you could think of. Yeah, they're really super interesting, and uh, every time I've tried one, I've been like, you know, this is really good, too. Yeah. I really like this. So that's, that's something, if you've never had a sour and you like fruity stuff or sour things, check it out, because mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a different experience than very, any other beer you've ever had, I guarantee very, it. Very, And it'll take you all day to get through those yeah. and all the different brewers, too. That's right. Uh, Barreled Souls, right down the road from Bandit Horn, down in Saco. They're bringing four beers, too. They're bringing uh, the Rosalita, which is a blonde ale, mm-hmm. and it's got quite a lot of fruit flavor to it. Mm. They're bringing Space Ghost, which uh, a Gosa is a almost a di- almost extinct beer style that's just being brought back, and a lot mm-hmm. of the main brewers are bringing it back. Mm-hmm. And most of them are made with like coriander and sea salt. So it's got a little bit of a spice to it, and mm. it's something that... If you never had one of those, check it out because that, right. that's an experience. All these beers are an experience. All, they each one. Um, a Quaker State with coffee. That's a pretty good beer, and one I've never had. Cookie Monster Porter. Mm-hmm. I've heard of it though. Yeah, I know that that's a talk around the uh, the beer circles. I've, I've seen people talk about that, so I've got to try that one. And it's got a cool name too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, down in Lewiston, there's the big brewery, the Baxter Brewing, and they're bringing four beers. All these guys are bringing. Two to five beers. It's great. It's an amazing. It's so many it's flavors. Amazing. But they're bringing a Pomola Extra Pale Ale, uh, the Summer Swelter Ale, their Stowaway IPA, which is pretty good. I like that a lot. And then it's uh, the Tire Nation, and it's like a main take on a California lager. Mm-hmm. And that's a different style. I'm going to be spending some time at that booth. <laughs> at a Skowhegan, just down the road, is Bigelow Brewing. Well, down the road from Lewiston, not right. Bolton, but you know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> They're bringing Dementia Dog IPA, um, Bigelow Brown Ale, and Avery Peak 4088 Pale Wheat. Mm. Uh, I've only had one of those, so I'll be checking those guys out, too. Yeah, right. Blank Canvas down at Brewer. They're closing their brewery right down for the whole weekend. I saw that. They posted online on their own site. They did. They said, we're shut down. we got to go to Holton. So. <laughs> we're, we're shutting taking breweries everything. down. Yeah, we're taking everything to Holton, so we'll see you when we get back. Which is funny because I just see on uh, Main Beer Guild site, Sean Sullivan posted, uh, where's all the brewers gone? Up to the county. Come on, <laughs> check it out in Holton. <laughs> Which is great. All, all the brewers coming up here. It's yeah. not just volunteers pouring out of a bottle. No, it's not I, a no. distributor just shipping bottles of beer. This is right. kegs of beer coming with the brewers. It's the real deal. It is the real deal. I, I've been to Munich during the Oktoberfest, and that's the real deal, too. And this is like a dream come true for me since back in 1981 that I went down, uh, over to Europe and experienced all the wonderful tastefulness over there and came back here, and there was none of that. None, none. Couldn't find it anywhere. And then it slowly started to creep in. I remember going to McSorley's Old Ale House in New York City. That was okay. the only place that I could get, you know, quote unquote, craft brews. So I'd travel down there every once in a while. That was the only place on the planet. And then there's a little bit that started to pop up in Portland. And yeah. and so I went down to Gritty McDuff's and I could get some stuff fresh right there. That was cool too. But now they're bringing it all right up to Holton. So this is full circle for me yeah. over the last, you know, 30 plus years. Here is the stuff that I've always wanted to, to have right here in town. And that's a good description. This is like a little mini Oktoberfest. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's a festival, and that's, it, and that's what it is. And, and before we get on with more of these brews, the food. Oh, the food is going to be great, too. Um, so bring cash if you want some food, because you're going to want some food, trust yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, Joyce Transu from down at Courtyard. Yeah. She's making a beer-infused chili. 
and some other great things, uh, wontons, and and I'm not sure what else, but everything she makes is pretty good. Everything she makes, you just all you have to do is say Courtyard Cafe, right. and you automatically go, okay, well, whatever she's got, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> she's going to have that. Uh, Steve Pangburn from up north is, is making lobster rolls. The bus is going to be here from mm-hmm. right here, Holton's own bus. Yes. So the bus won't be at the park Saturday. <laughs> only at the brew fly, or the Black Fly Brew Fest. <laughs> and then uh, Blaze is coming up. And Maddie Haskell was telling me his whole menu, and I'll just highlight it. There's barbecue jerk chicken. Um, there's going to be hot dogs with all kinds of great different toppings. Yep. Um, and they're all going to come with, like, coleslaws and potato salad. Oh, wow. So, like, you're going to have a whole meal. Right. And you're going to want it, too. And you're, yeah, me. you're going to want it. Yeah, when you're when you're doing what you're doing and tasting all the different stuff, infuse yourself with some food so you you can continue on. That's right. And, uh, of course, the pizza. He's going to have sausage, pepperoni, and margarita, and a roasted mushroom and garlic with white sauce and some kind of fancy cheese that I won't even try to pronounce. Right. But their wood-fired pizza is awesome. And, and the fact he has this trailer, it's called the Blazing Nation uh, trailer, wood-fired trailer, that's what it's called. yeah. yeah. That's going to be awesome. Set up right outside the uh, Civic Center. Wood-fired cooking, baby. And then he's also bringing some desserts from Cake Concoctions down in uh, downtown Bangor. Mm -hmm. And there's a post. You can go check it out and see what they look like and read all about them on on the Black Fly Brewfest or on Blaze's website. Yeah. But uh, one of them is made with Maine beers, mean old Tom Stout. No kidding. And it's also got Jameson whiskey and... Uh, caramel Baileys. Of course, all the all the alcohol is cooked out of it, but that you get those flavors of those different right. alcohols in there. So, and that's just one kind of cupcake he's got. Then he's wow. got a raspberry lambic one, which is the the frosting, the uh, filling, and the cake part is all made with raspberry lambic. Now, lambic is, is a fruit beer. A right? fruit, yeah, a wild fruit beer. Wild fruit and beer. And that's a old style from over in uh, Belgium. Mm-hmm. That was uh, Allagash, actually, is the first ones to start doing that over here in the States. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, and they also have a ginger beer cake, uh, cupcake with pear cider filling, and that's from Penobscot Bay Brewery and Winterport Winery. Karen Rogerson just checked in here. Like, we're getting response online. She says their pizza is amazing. It, so it she's is. talking about the Blazing Nation, I'm assuming. I would assume that's what she's talking about, and I would have to agree with, who was it, Karen? Karen, Karen Rogerson. Thank you, Karen, for uh, you know texting us here this morning. And she knows what she's talking about. The pizza is amazing. Okay, so food. We know we're going to be covered with food, literally. Yeah. Make sure you eat lots. Remember, if you're you're getting a sample and you don't like it and you don't want to drink the whole sample, they're right there. You can dump it out. It's no big deal. No one takes offense. It's just uh, part of the overall experience. And if you've ever been to wine tastings and wineries and things like that, that's what people do. They might just take a little sip. They may even like it, but I don't want to have all four ounces so just pour me a little bit so you don't have to spend all day and go out of there smashed it's not really about no how how you know how drunk can i get it's not like that at all right this isn't a pit party you know it's not out to some back road this is a tasting and uh, and of course you can do whatever you want and it's an unlimited tasting so unlimit yourself (laughs) and enjoy uh shire town cab i think i'm saying that right maybe it's shire town taxi it's the new Whatever the new the new taxi place is in town, I, I'm sorry I can't think of what the name is. But they're, <laughs> she's offering free rods. Free? Yes. Well, I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm ready for that. So if you do have a little too much, don't drive home. Just no, no. Take the free ride or call a friend and right, uh, right, absolutely. We definitely don't want people driving after they're having nope. too many beers. Right. But, correct. Uh, but blank canvas down a brewer. They're bringing three beers, um, including the coconut red and a rhubarb cult. So that's gonna be cool. Rhubarb. And like I said, we shut them right down. So <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You can shut your business down to come up to this event. I know. So they know that this is the place to be. This is it. You got Four River, brand new place down in Portland. They're bringing four beers, including their John Henry Milk Stout. And that is an awesome tasting beer. So wow. check that one out. Foundation out of Portland, down from uh, One Industrial, where all the great beer is. Well, not all the great beer, but... <laughs> they're bringing uh there's a bunch of it they're bringing three or four beers including the epiphany ipa which is one of the most sought after ipas probably in the country people will trade for that i mean yeah i was kind of shocked that they were bringing that up here because it's it's so hard to come by you can't even you just can't get it anywhere you can't get it anywhere yeah and uh they weren't sure they were going to be able to bring it but they got enough that they can get a keg or two up here so that's going to wow. be awesome check that one out if you're into IPAs at all, and even if you're not, just just go get a sip of it. Taste, and see. Yeah, it's taste. very, it's very like fruit type mm-hmm. t- 
taste. I don't know how to expl- explain it, but it's awesome. It tastes yeah. kind of like berries to me, which is weird for an IPA, but can't wait, man. It's great. Gaggins is coming up from uh, the Bangor Brewery area. Yeah, those guys are fantastic. They are. They're they're great people, and they're bringing three of theirs, including the Presque Isle Honey Blonde, mm-hmm. which is also made with the Maine Malt up there in Mapleton. Isn't that awesome? That Maine Malt, they're, they're the Buck Farms. They're pr- uh, providing malt for. I think they're up to like 20 brewers now. Wow. Throughout the state. Wow. More and more keep using it. So that's really great up here in the county. And that's one of the yep. things Jane's really uh, promoting here with this mm-hmm. whole event is, is tying some of the brewers with the, some of the farmers locally. Right. And so, even educating some of the farmers that, hey, you can do this too. And right. It's, it's very much needed. So. Here's, an, here's an alternate crop for you. You don't have to always have potatoes. You're going to have to rotate anyway. Here's something that you could put in in place of the potatoes for that year or the broccoli or what have you. That's right. And it's only going to help. Uh, it's only going to help our economy in Aroostook County since we are a farming community. Mm-hmm. It's so it's all. This is in the, in the community. Just saying the word community. Mm-hmm. That's what you think of when you think Maine beer. It's a great right. big community. It's it's so amazing. Right, I agree with you a hundred percent. Down in Limerick, you got Nice, and they're bringing a barrel aged twice. Wow. And uh, Borbosius, which I believe is aged in a bourbon barrel. Oh, yes. I've never tried either one of those, so I'm looking forward to that. I've had the nice. I've the had the nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've had some nice. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> and I heard a rumor. I don't know if this is true, Uh-oh. but I heard a rumor that somebody from Bunker Brewing down in Portland is riding up with uh, the Tim Bissell from, from Nice. Really? And maybe bringing a <gasps> keg or two of some Bunker beer, too. No, really? Not even on the list, but, you know, there's going to be little surprises. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Gritty's down in Portland. We were talking about, or you were talking about them earlier. Been around since 1988. They're going to be up here with three of theirs, including the Black Fly Stout. That is, you know, that was my favorite stout back in Maine. It has been since they started making it way back then. No doubt. It's I, absolutely my favorite. I've had some Gritty's, but I, I don't think I've ever had the Black Fly Stout, so I'm definitely going to check it out. You will enjoy it. And uh, that's one of the first things they said they found out about our event and the Black Fly Brew Fest. Mm-hmm. Well, we're definitely bringing the Black Fly Stout then, they said. <laughs> uh, Hidden Cove out of Wells, Maine, they're bringing out four beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple IPAs and the, the Booty. It's a mm-hmm. Raspberry Golden Ale. Yeah. And I know you've checked that one out. I think I we, have. we may have split a couple bottles. Yes, I think we did. It's very <laughs> tasty. That's my f- new favorite summertime beer. It is definitely. It's a nice, light <laughs> refreshing summertime beer that's yes. that's exactly what it is right uh, another brand new brewery i'm saying that a lot but they're just there's brand new breweries everywhere. they're all brand new really <laughs> right right but some really brand new like you know you still get the new car smell in the brewery right <laughs> so lone pine out of portland and they're bringing three or four beers uh, i can't remember if they're bringing both the saison or the stout but two beers i've never had and they and they're what what wheat and the portland pale ale so that's going to be good. Check them out. They're good people. Yep. And then we got Marsh Island. We've been talking a little bit about Rick and uh, Clay down there in Orno. Mm-hmm. And they have four on the list, but I just confirmed they're bringing a VIP beer. <sighs> and it's a Wild Farmhouse Saison with Brett Brock's Rye, which is a wild yeast. That's the whole, that, right there, that's the, uh, I would upgrade to a VIP ticket if I had a general admission ticket right now just for that one thing. Yeah, I'm, I can't wait to try. This is just a one-off he's making special for for the event. So. No kidding. And I've never had anything, a Saison or any style like that from them yet. I know right. they're, they're talking about doing some sours and stuff. Right. Uh, so that's, I got to check that out. So can't VIPs, wait. there you get. There you go. There's one right. bonus you got. Yeah. And they're also bringing their Maine Malt Blonde, which, like I said, from some of these other ones, made with uh, Maine Malt up in Mapleton. So county beers. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And their brand new Wooly Bugger Pills, which is a Pilsner. So if you're not into IPAs and the big heavy stouts, there's going to be lots of light, refreshing summer beers. And, you know, the Pilsners and, and the Lagers, they're, they're, they're what you're used to if you're a Bud Light or a Coors Light drinker. Mm-hmm. So there is stuff you can... You know, see what the other flavors are. It's yeah. better, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not biased at all. Oh, <laughs> I, I just speak the truth, man. It is awfully good. And they're also bringing their flag stout. Mm-hmm. And I heard the story on that. I was wondering what. It's, it's flag exclamation stout. I'm like, mm-hmm. what the heck? So I found out the story is 
like when you're ice fishing and, and a flag pops up and oh, someone's no. flag no kidding so yeah that's what they i guess that's why they call that the flag stout and well i got a whole i got a great big seven foot tall refrigerator out the lake that's in my ice shack i'm gonna have to stock that right full of those <laughs> for next ice fishing season definitely because that's a great beer to drink while you're out there ice I'm, I'm gonna find out and uh <laughs> their downrigger ipa which is one of their originals so those four plus the extra bonus vip beer so those guys are awesome wow Mason's at a brewer, not even open. I guess some of their beer is finally hitting some some of the bars down in the Bangor area. But right, they're bringing three three beers up here, including a pale ale and an IPA. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely interested in trying their beer since they're I've never coming had out the of the taste gate. Of the Masons coming out of the gate big too. So I, yeah, there's there's an awful lot of talk and buzz about Mason's Brewery, and we will be really the first place to really taste anything from Mason's at That's all. Right. So you know, you talk about exclusive stuff. Mason's first first beer in the industry. Yeah. Couldn't couldn't get your VIP ticket today. <laughs> There's at least I think at least five of these guys. This is their first beer fest. Yeah, that's so that's, cool. that's awesome. Another one right here, Monhegan uh Monhegan brewing out of Monhegan Island. They I don't know if, how many beer fests they've done. I know they've done a couple, but they're out on an island ten miles out to sea, so mm-hmm. to be able to get their beer, it's it's Hard to do, but they're bringing it all the way up here to, to Holton. <laughs> and they got a Russian Imperial Stout and a Doppelbach mm. and a Rye IPA. So wow. those are different flavors that yes. you Very. can experience. Oh. And Mass Landing, another brand new brewery out of Westbrook. Westbrook finally has a brewery. Mm-hmm. And they're bringing the Green to Green 5 IPA, mm-hmm. which I haven't had any of their Green to Greens. It's mm-hmm. like a series they're doing. Mm-hmm. Really looking forward to that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the CV Island, CV Island Blonde Ale which is another one if you're not into big hoppy beers or big dark beers check that one out and a, a pilot beer that they are just trying out it's a rye wheat beer mm-hmm. so we'll be one of the first to to be able to sample that this is amazing oxbow who oxbow brewery they're at a newcastle and have a, a blending and tasting room in portland mm-hmm. and they've done some uh collaborations with even uh one of them was with uh, an italian brewer mm-hmm I think we actually tried that one. Uh, yes, we did. It was these like guys are big time. Like, a bottle. They were really. It was really good. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> some of these are expensive beers, but you just pay once and you get all, pay all for the your tastes ticket, you want. Yeah. Here. Taste the stuff that would cost you a hundred bucks. You know. That's right. They're bringing a farmhouse pale ale and a Loretta saison. So, farmhouse uh, ales and saisons are a, definitely a different flavor. Mm-hmm. That if you've never tried them, it's an experience. Some people enjoy the heck at them some yep. people are like oh and then they yep. don't like them but that's yep. why this is great yep. come see if you do like it right and they're bringing freestyle 35 so i don't know what the freestyles are they're different i think they, it's just a freestyle they try different recipes out this is number 35 so right. i don't know what it is i don't know what the flavor is i can't wait to try it though. i'll do the freestyle because everything i've tried down there is pretty darn good yeah uh, and then penobscot bay and winterport winery they're both coming up that's a husband and wife and they started with the wine, and they added a brewery here a few years back. Mm-hmm. And I think you might have tried one here not too long ago from I them. I think so. <laughs> and uh, they're bringing a Roch beer, Wildfire Roch beer. I'm not even sure what a Roch beer is. but Roush beer. Roush beer. I see. I told you. I don't know. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> that's, that's one of those, those German-type beers, a European-type beer. Oh, they, I'm getting an education, it. too. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> and they're bringing uh, a double IPA and uh, a wheat Heffenweizen. That's another one of those German beers. Yes. It's all going to be good. So I've never tried any. All, all three of those would be new to me. There you go. That's great. <laughs> There's your first stop. <laughs> Rising Tide out of Portland, another great brewery who's really coming up big time. They're bringing four beers. This, in my, this is like a broken record, four beers, four beers. <laughs> a lot of these brew fests only have one or two beers from each brewery, and right. we get like four, five, right. six. Crazy. <laughs> it's there's going to be so much flavor, Chris. Yes, I know. I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> and they're bringing uh, the Main Island Trail Ale. That's one. Talk about refreshing summer beers. Mm-hmm. I just got a fresh four-pack of that a few weeks back down at the brewery can that day. Mm-hmm. I was watching the cannon line as it was going. Mm-hmm. Boom, right off the cannon line. I brought it home. Let me tell you, it didn't last th- through the next day. <laughs> they were refreshing. They were tasty. Oh, and it's not a big hoppy beer. It's just got a hint of hops, so you know it's there. Yeah. Delicious beer. Try that one out. They got an IPA, they got a copper ale, and a Hefeweizen. So they got all kinds of different flavors they're bringing. It's going to be awesome. Sea Dogs coming out of Bangor with their Blue Paw Blueberry Wheat Beer, That's which is a favorite really by of many people. Yep. And their Sunfish, which is a, a summer beer. It's a pale wheat beer. Mm-hmm. That's a very tasty one, too. 
Then you got Sebago out of Gorm. They're bringing their Whistle Punk Double IPA. <laughs> uh, Which is really sure good. Ooh, I know me and Chris are both huge fans of that. It's it's delicious, isn't it? I think I might taste that twice. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and they're bringing the Simmer Down Summer. Ooh. And uh, I just heard, I think it was Tom that told me. He had one of those yesterday. He said delicious. Good, good, good. And then their Fry's Leap IPA, which has been around for a while. So yeah, that's great, too. There's three great beers right there. Yep. And then one of the big, well, well, yeah, one of the biggest brewers in New England, Shipyard. Mm -hmm. They're bringing the Island Time Session IPA, which I think is fairly new. I've never tried that one. It's an interesting name. So there's another one I haven't tried. Mm -hmm. And a Summer Ale and a Monkey Fist IPA. Yes, which we know both of those other ones. They've been around yes. for a few years. But those guys are, are huge. If this was huge. in the fall, they would definitely bring their pumpkin head that they're known for. Right. That was actually probably the first craft beer I ever tried was a shipyard pumpkin head okay. years ago. Yeah. And it was my younger brother had it. And he, I said, what is a pumpkin head on a, on a beer label? He goes, oh, try this beer. I was like, it, it's got pumpkin in it. <laughs> he goes, it's delicious. And I, I tried it and I couldn't believe it. That was my first experience with craft beer. There you go. Um, out of York, Maine, we got some brewing. And they're bringing, uh, I'm not sure which IPA, they weren't sure which one. So that'll be a nice surprise from, from I, me. I, I love all their stuff, so it doesn't matter what they bring. I'm going to enjoy tasting every single stuff. one. All their IPAs are good. And they're bringing the famous Whoopie Pie Stout. Yes. Which I had up in Marcel for the first time, and it was you have, delicious. Everyone has got to try the Whoopie Pie Stout. Make a point to go get a little bit of the Whoopie Pie Stout. It's so unique. You won't taste anything like it ever again. I didn't think I even liked a stout until I tried that one. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that's it. We're really running late here, but <laughs> thank well, we're you doing for all right. I'm having fun. <laughs> we're almost through the list, but that's this is how massive this list is. <laughs> and we're just barely touching on, on I know on the list. I know. Um, Urban Farmhouse or Urban Farm Fermentary, which is also down in Portland, they're bringing a blueberry kombucha. Kombucha. How do you say it? Do you know how to say that? <laughs> I'm going to say kombucha. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. It's kombucha. something blueberry. I have no clue what it is. I'm going to have to check it out. And they're bringing a cider, too, called Draft Cider. Draft Cider. Bring Draft up some cider. cider. Yeah. And right out in East Hodgson, right local, we got the Hidden Spring Winery coming, the Slouts. Yes. And they're bringing a whole bunch of wines. Their sun, Summer Sunset, the Blueberry, the Strawberry, the Wedding Wine, Rock and Ruby, and Sweet Rock and Ruby. I've tried all of those. I've had them there at the winery, and I even have some of those bottles at home. <laughs> I can recommend every single one. Locally sourced fruit. Everything is done right here in town. Uh, it doesn't get any, any fresher, so to speak, than right here in Hodgdon, Maine. Yeah. you got to love local, and you got to love fresh. And they got both of them. Check, check. Absolutely. <laughs> so if, if you know if, if your husband or boyfriend or whatever is all big into the beer scene and you're not... Well, ladies, we got wine, we got ciders, we got something for everybody out there. Wine, ciders, sours, uh, gozes, uh, all the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's plenty. Plenty. Winterport Winery, which I touched on earlier, they're bringing five or six wines as well, um, including a pear almond wine. I've heard something about that one, too. And a raspberry rain. So they're mm -hmm. bringing different flavors, too. Mm -hmm. There's be lots of different wine flavors. Yep. And then Crooked Halo is a cidery out of... Gardner. Good right. thing I have notes because I right. can't keep them all straight. <laughs> and they're bringing a, it's called Heathen Pineapple. It's aged in tequila barrels. A, a pineapple cider aged in tequila barrels. Anything that's named Heathen <laughs> is worth a try. And this, they're just coming out with this. I guess a few people have had a chance to try it, but not many. And they're bringing it right up here as like a first time unveiling. So really? It's, that's awesome. Another one. Another one. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. So you got to be here. I mean, there's like, how many is that? Like five or six that I've just talked about that oh, yeah. this is a first for these guys? Absolutely. And then we got some big time things like Angry Orchard and Coney Island and Sam Adams and Traveler Beer Company. So we're not just all main. We got something for everybody. If you're into Sam Adams and haven't really tried the main beer, you know there's some stuff there that you're going to like. Sam Adams is always good. You, you can't go wrong with Sam Adams. So they're all going to be there and then... And then Try that first if you want, and then right. go try Maine and tell me that Maine's not better. Right. <laughs> not right. that Sam Adams is bad, but I'm telling you what. Right, right. Come right. try the Maine beer, people. And when you're talking about the first of the first, and this is the first for all these guys, and we're getting a lot of the first, and we're going to be the premier brew fest, and it's going to be the first, and this first, and the first, first this, and first that, and first the other thing, guess what? We were also the location of the first transatlantic telephone signal. 
Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah, it was just something in the paper the other day, too, I saw about it. Well, because there's something over in Europe. They're changing the name of part of the village or something to Holton. Right. Because of Holton, Maine. Because this is where the, the call originated from and, and went over there. Yeah. The first cable TV. Cable TV, the first market that they tested it in here in the United States, it was Holton, Maine. Listen, that see that's something I didn't know. Isn't that interesting? So now here we are doing another first, and here and, and a whole <laughs> and bunch of firsts for all these guys, and it's going to be incredible. So tomorrow, check it out noon for VIP, one thirty for everybody else. Like I said, there's all, all kinds of flavors, there's all kinds of food, and you just got to be there. Yeah. Okay. So if you want tickets today, they're they're a little more expensive at the door, ten dollars more at the door. Save yourself ten bucks. If there's a group of you, hey, four tickets, you're saving forty bucks. Go get them today down at. Uh, the Thirsty Dog over in Florence Ave, or get them at uh, Chamber of Commerce, or go right online, blackflybrewfest.com. That's the way to do it, folks. If you're going to be involved, now's the time to do it. We gave away a couple pair of tickets earlier today. We got some very, very happy winners. I and, bet uh, they are. I think they're going to be upgrading their tickets to VIP after listening to us talk here this morning. And once again, i got to thank WHO. You guys have been awesome. Hey, thanks, man. Plugging our, our event and letting us come on and, and talk about this, this great event. This has been and fun. So thanks to Fred and the crew here, and thank you for staying late today so I could get <laughs> a chance to come on and talk one more time about Black Fly Brew Fest. Well, you know how much I hate to talk about beer. I know. So me it's too. been a real effort for me to have to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot, man. All right, thank you. John White, you just heard from him. Tomorrow's the day. It's going to happen. It's a reality. It's been built, and hopefully you'll come. We're looking forward to seeing you at the Black Fly Brew Fest tomorrow morning. Black Fly Brew Fest, May 14th, Millar Civic Center. The premier brew fest in Maine is happening, and you're invited to taste a bite of the Black Fly. Brewers from all over will be landing in Holton for the Black Fly Brew Fest. Here's an example of the tastiness they are bringing. Sebago Brewing is having Fry's Leap IPA, Simmer Down Summer Session, and Whistle Punk DIPA. Black Fly Brew Fest, May 14th at the Millar Civic Center in Holton. Over a hundred different beers from Maine and New England. The premier brew fest in Maine. Don't miss it. Woo-hoo! Ever wonder where all your money goes? Well, if you're an average American homeowner, 40% of your consumer expenditures are home-related. The costs of your mortgage...